Another skill point. I'm liking this. Underwater longer. Dual death from above, huh? Seems interesting. Hmm. Advanced first aid seems nice. And so does that, but... I don't really have six slots of health to heal, so... Hold off on doing that for the time being. Automatically loot a target. Now that seems good. But I need... Knife throw takedowns. Melee kills. Apparently I did one already. I don't remember doing that. I do want this too. But I don't know how how much longer it's going to be useful. Whereas something like dual death from above could be more useful. I'm going to go with healing. Now hold on, if it lets me save, it'll let me leave. It will. I'll come back. I just, I want that radio tower. It's taunting me. Gotta get it. Alright, no message this time. It's good. Barely got that one. Alright. No dudes around? Oh, come on. What the hell? I wanna let me jump. There we go. Alright, now this one is all kinds of messed up. I do like how every single radio tower is different. You know, they're not just all copy pasted. There's some differences in how you have to climb up. Oh, I almost <laughs> I almost forgot I got the moving faster. Almost walked right off. Here we go. Oh, no, not quite yet. All right, now almost. Another loot chest. Alright. Let's see what we got. Kind of awesome goodies. That will now be uncovered. Oh, this is so weird without music. Blame the sketchy copyright laws. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't think this is the right way. In fact, no, it's not. Got a sniper rifle. I missed the other stuff that popped up. Oh well. Let's just head back into town. Or, considering it's right here, do this. 500 experience. You can 
considering it's worth more experience, is probably harder. This one actually requires a little bit of off-roading. Ah. But yeah, it's a little sad that I have to go without music. It's mainly the music from the radio that's the problem. But I don't know, I suppose exploring the world and stuff would be a little bit more immersive now. Don't flip over, please. Go. I was holding down the, uh, the W key and it didn't do anything. Please let this be the end, yes. Nice. That is an outpost. A couple of heavies now. Well, this could be interesting. Now, for the love of God, can we stealth it? I want to start by shooting the alarm box, which is right there. But then they'll be on to me. Pretty much right away. See if this works. Be better not be shooting at me. Well, stealth is gone, but at least there won't be reinforcements. Holy fucking shit. That's really the main thing I care about. Reinforcements are annoying. Wow, look at that. Looks like there's just one left. <laughs> no alarms for you. Getting a headshot in you is gonna suck though. Or not. Alright. Nice. No alarms triggered, so that's a a 50 bonus. Not too bad. Someone's keys, yeah, well. They belong to somebody. And somebody is now me. There's no counterattack. What are you doing? Nothing to be afraid of. Okay, more main mission progress is required. I want to get the wingsuit. As soon as I get that, I'll be satisfied. I can't wait. Like, I'm anxious. Very much so. You have ten seconds to tell me who you are before I remotely detonate the C4 under the table and this whole place explodes like a pop bottle. Jesus! I doubt it. Five seconds. Jason! Jason Brody! Really? Yes! So you're Snow White? Yes, or, or no. Which one gets me blown up? A pragmatist. Promising. But do you consider yourself a patriot, Mr. Brody? Thing is, the real patriot doesn't just put his hand on his heart while holding a hot dog at the ball game. That's a gosh darn cakewalk, pardon my French. The real patriot suckles at the teat of Lady Liberty. Upon hearing of the death of a brother at war, the real patriot asks, did we win? And then rejoices at the pronouncement of victory. So, are you a real patriot or one of those Walt Whitman hippies who cries when the jean store runs out of pocket squares? Uh, a real patriot. 
Bingo. That's what I like to hear. By the way, Voss has your friend Oliver Carswell, and I'm zeroing in on Keith Ramsey. Why are you looking for them? It's my job to know this island inside and out. I can help you, but you gotta play the game. There's something I'm looking for. We'll trade favors. Deal. Cool. Jason. What are you? Some kind of spy? I'm not gonna confirm or deny that. Just messing with you. I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Oh, great. I need to get help from the Army and the government. You can't. I'm embedded, not really in contact with Central Intelligence. <laughs> so, you're alone here? No. Are you kidding? I got a whole team. They're out in the field, but they'll be back. These scans they sent have opened up a grade-A can of worms. I can't talk to you about it, but trust me, it's big. Sounds huge. I need more info, though, from the source. Flammenwerfer. <laughs> Flamethrower. This beauty was invented in Krautland. Uh... Hoyt Volker is the boss of a very good friend of yours, Voss. He also happens to run the largest slave trading ring in the South Pacific. On top of that, he grows drugs. If we set fire to his fields and his boat, he's gonna canoe over to this island. I get what I want, and we learn more about your friends. Capiche? I feel like that's only an Italian thing. Only Italians can say that. It's like spraying furniture gold. You know what I mean? No. Anyway, here's the gun. Wow. Thanks. That's what I like to hear. Don't forget the boat. Yeah, I got it. I'm trusting you on this thing with Hoyt. Give me that. Give it. Oh. 